Hello again everyone, Bear from Bear Reads Books. It's a little windy out here so I hope the audio is not too, uh, not too interrupted. But I have another book haul. It's October and at the beginning of October I did a book haul and now it's halfway through October and I'm doing another book haul. It is this many books. This is getting ridiculous. This is the Bear This Is Getting Ridiculous book haul. Uh, in this pile of books are a couple of uh, second-hand books that I was able to secure locally, a couple of local authors that I've been lucky enough to pick up and I'm going to try out their books, uh, reading very much outside my, my genre, and then a whole bunch of new books that I was able to secure on sale, which is fantastic. Let's start with the local books because this is not something you're going to see me reading a lot. I don't take submissions from authors to read their books in in uh in return for a for a review anywhere but these are people that i have actually met and know and they've published the book their book without any input from me that's absolutely fine uh, and i just like supporting local authors the first one i have it as a physical book and that is love and other mistakes by jessica kate now this per person works with me at my job and she finished this book it is and published with a two book deal with uh, the uh, published with a two book deal from Thomas Nelson now if you've never heard of Thomas Nelson before they are the Christian arm of uh, one of the major publishers Random House I think so they are the Christian arm of Random House and this is a Christian romance book is Christian romance my thing absolutely not but this person's gone to the, all the trouble of writing a book and had it successfully published not self-published and I think I owe her the read so I may not be doing a review of it but I am definitely going to read it it's love and other mistakes by Jessica Kate available on Amazon and wherever you get your ebooks the other local author that I found I met this person through a writers group and her name is Tara East and I believe her book is called Every Time He Dies. Um, and again, this is published, this is a self-published book. You'll be able to find it on Amazon or wherever you buy your, your uh, e-books. Uh, Every Time He Dies by Tara East. Not Christian romance, but I do believe it's a light-hearted romantic comedy type of book. Um, uh, again, I have that. I have that as an ebook. That's how it was distributed, and I'll be reading that soon. So, two local authors, which, if you live anywhere outside of my little town, may not mean anything to you, but I just thought I'd mention it. So, the other things on my book haul. Let's start with the secondhand books because I, I was lucky enough to pick up another Toni Morrison. Now, this is way down the list. Uh, of one of the more her, of her more recent books uh, called A Mercy. So I won't be reading this for quite some time, but if you've been following along on my other videos, you'll be, you'll, you would have heard that I am doing all of Toni Morrison's books in chronological order. And I've just finished the second one. So we started with The Bluest Eye, then we went to Sula, next comes Song of Solomon, and so on and so on. I'm unsure where A Mercy sits in that, uh, in that collection of books, but it will be added to the collection and it'll come up for reading whenever it comes up. If it's number 11, it'll be 11 months from now. <laughs> if, it's, if it's number four, it'll be December or January. So uh, that's a, it's a, it was a good find because I do have a lot of Toni Morrison on my shelves already. So when I find a Toni Morrison that I, honest to be honest, never heard of, grab it instantly. The other one I've picked up and I know you've, you've probably heard me bagging out Anne Bronte in, or, or any of the Brontes, to be honest, in some of my other videos. Uh, and when I said this as a comment to someone else's video about how I dislike the Brontes, I dislike Jane Eyre, uh, someone was nice enough to comment and say, that's a shame about your dislike of the Brontes. If you've never read this particular book, I suggest you try this, you might like it. So as I said in my very first video, I'm happy to take recommendations from 
anyone that's willing to give them. So this person recommended The Tenant of Wildfell Hall uh, by Anne Bronte. Never heard of it, never read it, so it will now go on to my TBR. Thank you. I will put, I'll try and find that comment, uh, who made that comment of who recommended this, uh, but I didn't write it down. So I will put it down below. Thank you very much for the recommendation. And that's it for second hand, just those two little books. Uh, the rest are all brand new books, bought on sale, I do believe, of one type or another. Let's start with this one. This was the winner of the Man Booker Prize, International Prize of 2019, Celestial Bodies, and it sounds fascinating. When I first saw it, I, I instantly thought it was a non-fiction book, but no, it is fiction, it is the story of is set in the village uh, in a village in Oman where we encounter three sisters um, and the three women and their families witness Oman evolve from a traditional slave owning society slowly redefining itself after the colonial era sounds really really good uh, and there's been a little bit of chatter about this and I've seen it around in different places so uh, I'm going to give this a crack this sounds great Second on the list was My Enemy's Cherry Tree, a very interesting title by Wang Ting Ku, uh, and I do apologise if that's not the pronunciation. Uh, if you read the, the blurb, it, it, it's a translated book, obviously, uh, and uh, from a, an author in Taiwan, and this book has won all three of Taiwan's major literary prizes. Uh, what that means, I have no idea whether that means it's going to be great or not I still don't know uh, but uh, my enemy's cherry tree it does say a man who has come from poverty and loss marries the woman of his dreams when she vanishes without a trace he sets up a small cafe in her favorite place close to the South China Sea hoping that she will return fascinating so my enemy's cherry tree by Wang Ting Ku um, another author I've never read before and a couple of people have read this author recently and done reviews or talked about this author being their favorite author so I thought never read her so make sure I do Joyce Carol Oates this particular one was on sale hazards of time travel I know nothing about it if you all have read this and think it's great please comment below very briefly when Adrian Stroll uses her high school valedictorian speech to ask a series of pointed questions about the world in which she has grown up officially known as the North American States. She is deemed a provocateur and arrested on seven counts of treason speech and questioning of authority. So it sounds like a uh, future, near future uh, dystopian novel, maybe. I'm not sure whether that's typical of Joyce Carol Oates or not. Again, love to hear your conversations down below. Third, another author I have never read before, Sebastian, not Sebastian, John Lanchester, uh, John Lanchester's The Wall. Um, the best thing that can happen is that he survives and gets off the wall and never has to spend another day of his life anywhere near it. He longs for this to be over, longs to be somewhere else. Excellent. Thrilling hypnotic new novel is about why the young are right to hate the old. Hey, wait, I'm young, I'm still young. So. John Lanchester, The Wall, hopefully that's good. Uh, Sebastian Barry, Days Without End. Um, I think I got the name of this author confused with someone else, but then I keep seeing Sebastian Barry's name pop up and not the other one. So maybe, maybe it's gonna be good. Uh, Man Booker Prize shortlisted author of other books, not this one. Um, after signing up for the US Army in the 1850s, Thomas McNulty and his brother-in-arms, John Cole, go on a fight in the Indian Wars and ultimately the Civil War. Having fled terrible hardships, they find these days to be vivid and filled with wonder, despite the horrors they both see and are complicit in. Wonderful. Sebastian Barry, Days Without End. And finally, uh, Ohio, a novel by Stephen Markley. Uh, I've been looking at this on the shelves for a long time, and then I've seen um, Sean do a review so never known anyone to pick it up or do a review so and I loved his review so this was for sale so I thought I'd pick it up uh, if you haven't seen Sean's review go and check it out but uh, Ohio briefly on a feverish summer night in 2013 four former classmates converge on the Rust Belt town where they grew up 
each of them with a mission, all of them haunted by regrets, secrets, lost loves. Okie dokie. That's it. That's another of Bear's big book hauls. The second for October, which is rather concerning because we have Christmas coming up and we have a whole stack of new releases and things coming up as well. What I have found is booking in 10 books for my TBR at the beginning of October has been rather exhausting. So I'm thinking that non-fiction November is going to be a great idea, but the chill version of non-fiction November, I'm not going to book myself in for any number of books, I'm just going to see how many I get done in the fullness of time of November. I hope you enjoyed my little book haul there, that amounts to 10, again I seem to go in factors of 10. Uh, so enjoy, your, enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are, hope you enjoyed my book haul and we'll see you again next time. Thank you, bye.